Hello, it's a new year teaching the Cisco CCNA. And one of the first things I like to do in my classes, even if I have an online class, is get the students to physically console in to a router or switch and start configuring the routers and switches. So right here, I have a 1941 Cisco Series Integrated Services Router. Now this is end of life router, which means support for it will be ending pretty soon. This is a good time for, if you're a Cisco CCNA student though, because you could probably get a pretty good price on uh, one of these Cisco 1941 routers, since they're kind of reaching end of life, but they're perfect to learn on. So I recommend going out and getting one. Now for the Cisco Academy, the routers we're using now are the 4321 routers. So hopefully in my next video, I'll have a 4321 router to show you. So anyway, one of the first things we got to do is console into the router to configure the router. That's basically the first thing you need to do. Now to do that, we use a serial, uh, a console cable, which is a serial connection. Uh, it's also known as a rollover cable and it has an RJ45 on one end and a, a serial DB9 uh, female port on the other end. And this goes into your COM port. Well, my laptop doesn't have a COM port. Most laptops don't have serial ports or COM ports like that. So what you can do is you can go out and get an adapter. So this is a USB to serial DB9 male adapter. And then you just put that on here like this. Okay, and you can tighten it down just to make sure it doesn't come off. All right, and then attach it into your, your laptop. And you can see that it's going to show up here. Let's see here. It should show up here. I'll connect it into the router. And then I'll look for it here on my, there it is. You can see it right, let me close this. You can see it right here under ports, COM ports, prolific USB to serial COM port. And then you can choose which COM port you want to put it on. I've put mine on COM1. So the router is on. So now all I need to do is open up a putty terminal. I have putty and we're going to do a serial connection. It's set by default to COM1 and I'll click open and press enter and I met with an initial configuration dialog box of whether or not I want to enter the wizard and start configuring the router. I'm going to type no because we'll just manually configure it one step at a time. Okay, there it goes. All right, I'll press enter. And I have a prompt. So I'm now consoled into the router. Now, if I had a switch with me, the console port on the switch is at the back of the switch. And so I would just turn it around and put my console cable, my rollover cable into the console port in the back of the switch. So I'm consoled into the router now and I'm ready to put in basic configurations. 